Hello and welcome to Fortrade Limited. My name is Sasha and in this short video I will explain how to use our platform for trading Desktop for Trader to you. Before we start, I want to let you know that you can contact our support center or your account manager for any further information or help whenever you want. Let's begin. Type our site address www.fortrade.com into your browser and in the top left hand corner choose the option platforms and then choose desktop for trader. If you have already installed it, you can skip this step. If you don't have it already, then click on Download for Trader. Now I will download it myself so that you can see the process. As you can see, the program is installing. Once the program is running, you can choose your preferred language. When you first sign up, you will be asked to type in your name, telephone number, email address and your password so that you can get started. Since I already have an account, I'll just enter my email address and password. Welcome to Desktop for Trader. It's one of the most user-friendly platforms that you can find out there. Most importantly, you will find everything that you need here in order to make your trading successful. The whole platform is divided into two segments. The left-hand side, where you can find a list of all the instruments, and the right-hand side, where you can see a chart of one specific instrument. Right now, we are in practice mode and you have 10,000 virtual US dollars to trade with in a real life trading environment. This is your account balance. Next to this, you can see open profit and loss, the current state of your open trades, and equity that represent the amount of money that you are left with and that you can still activate. Financial strength represents measurement of margin utilization from currently open trades. And if you click on it, you can find more detailed information. Now, you can personalize your desktop for trader by choosing your favorite instruments that are going to be displayed automatically in the favorite section, simply by clicking the star in front of a particular instrument. Here you can see the sell and buy price of a certain instrument and, you should find this useful, sentiment. This option provides insight into the market. You can actually see the percentage of traders that opened buy or sell positions on this instrument. Another very useful option is change, where you can see the daily price change of a particular instrument. The minus in front of the number shows you that price went down. The micro chart gives you the price trend over the last 24 trading hours. If you want to see a list of all the instruments, choose the option All Instruments and on the drop down menu you can find instruments divided by group, currencies, indices, commodities, etc. Now let us choose one instrument to start trading. I will go to Commodities and Energy Products and choose crude oil. As soon as you click on the crude oil instrument you can see that chart on the right hand side is changing and you are now looking at the movement of the price of crude oil. The option more info gives you a short description and interesting facts regarding a particular instrument. Choose the option chart again in order to get back to the graph. You can change the look of your chart to Japanese candlesticks chart or line chart. The Japanese candlesticks chart is more detailed and gives us more information, so we are going to stick to it. You can also open multiple charts and look at the price movement in several different instruments and you can spread the chart out across the entire screen. 
Option I instantly gives you trading conditions for the instrument that is presented on the chart. FX option gives you the opportunity to insert certain indicators to the chart, like Bollinger Bands or MACD, etc. The options that allow you to change the time frame of chart to 1 minute, 30 minutes, 1 hour, day or 1 week are very important. As I previously mentioned, Japanese candlesticks chart is more detailed and gives you more information, so I will show you how to read it. The Japanese candlesticks chart shows two types of sticks, red and green ones. Red sticks represent the time frame when price went down and green ones represent the time frame when price went up. If you place your mouse cursor on a specific candlestick, you will see detailed information regarding price movement in that specific time frame on the left hand side of the chart. Like open price, highest price, during that time, lowest price during that time frame and close price. Depending on your decision, you can either open a buy or sell position. When you click on buy, for example, you will have a new window where you must order your trade. First you must choose the amount that you want to trade with. Here I will put 10. That means that right now I will open a position to trade with, a price of 10 units, in this case 10 barrels. The bigger the amount is, the more money you are putting into that trade. The options you have under advanced features are very important for you to understand. These are Stop Loss and Take Profit. These options give you the ability to manage risk of trading before you even open a position. Stop Loss represents the level where your position is going to close itself automatically and prevent you from losing more money than you determined. However, please note that Stop Loss is not guaranteed and in very high volatile conditions may not stop a larger loss. Take profit is the level where your position will close itself, collect the potential profit that you made and direct it to your account balance. You can activate these options by simply checking the box in front of them using minus or plus and adjust the desired level. In this case we are opening a buy position, meaning that your stop loss level should be under the current price rate. The take profit level is going to be above the current price level in order for you to collect profit in price change. Now your position is set and you can click on the buy button to open it. You can see all of your open position, the instrument that you are trading with, the type of position that you opened, the open price rate and levels of stop loss and take profit and current profit or loss you are making with that particular position. Once you open your position, you can always make adjustments and edit it by choosing the edit option or close it by clicking on the close button. You can see the history of your previous trades in the closed trades option. At the top hand right of the screen, you can see your email address and if you click there, you will find a drop down menu with options for a detailed view of your account. Choosing the option Switch to Real will direct you to Real mode or by clicking on the deposit button you place funds in your Real account. There is one more thing left for me to explain to you. If you need any kind of assistance while practicing you can contact us directly from the platform by clicking on the chat or email tabs or by calling us on this number. Lastly. I would just like to remind you that trading with CFDs involves risk, as with all investments, your capital is at risk. Thanks for watching. I wish you great success with your trading and please join us again at Fortrade soon.